Okay, first and foremost, I'm back with another post-op video, and this is in between months two and three, or no, in between months three and four, and I took a little longer to make this particular video since I was waiting for the orthodontist to put my full braces on, because initially I had up here set up and ready to go but down here i still didn't have uh braces so now it's complete as you can tell and i guess that's what i'm going to lead into is the braces so you can see how my teeth are forming like that and they told me that i'm running into a bit of a crossbite but it's not that big a deal because they uh, he told me that it should be able to be fixed because there's enough space to move around for the teeth. So nothing concerning so far. Everything has been going good. And yeah, you can take a quick look where my gaps are at. Like here in the corner. And then over here. I don't feel it's that bad. It's really just... Uh, the spaces in between my teeth which make it look a lot worse than it actually is and also another thing I wanted to show is up here if you can tell this top like uh, I think it would be considered a molar right here you can see some movement whenever I'm biting down So I think you're able to capture that. And it's not really, it doesn't really bother me like when I'm eating, I don't feel any of my teeth move, but it looks a lot worse than it actually is. And uh, it's been fine. Uh, Cause I've been asking questions and all that. And they told me that, that is, that's normal for that to happen, for there to be any kind of shifting or movement of the teeth. And actually, I have an update on down here. So these teeth down here, they actually used to move a lot. I'm not sure if it was the last video or my first video that I made on the post-op videos that I've been making. But down here, I had a lot of movement. Uh, specifically on these two teeth. One and two and also this third one but now as you can tell they aren't sticking out as much as they used to because before uh for example i think it was this tooth in, in particular down here or this one it was sticking like it was really like crazy high it was much higher than it is now and now everything looks even like across like everything looks even there, like from top to bottom. But if you look back at my first video or second video where I show off my teeth, uh, the um, there was definitely a lot of a lot of variety in, in the in the height. But now everything looks good, and they don't move as much as they used to, as well, which is good. So that means I think that means that they're settling in, and everything is working out like it's supposed to. And nothing alarming so far. Everything has been going really good and I'm happy about that. And uh, also the numb, the numb feeling or the, the numbing is something that I've been struggling with. It's sort of like a psychological barrier cause it kind of, uh, um, it's unfortunate where I can't really feel a lot of my mouth yet. And I don't really know how to explain it or describe it, but a lot of my mouth feels like dead basically. And then like on the roof of my mouth, like in the corner, like up there, I like can't feel anything at all. And I can't really feel pain. Like if I dig my nail into the, okay. So as I was saying, when I dig my nail in the roof of my mouth, like right in the corner over here, uh, I feel very slight pressure and some kind of feeling, uh, very little bits of pain, but 
for the most part i can't really feel it so i might have to just wait a few more months or obviously up to a year maybe even two years or you never know it might never come back and i really don't care if it comes back or not uh, hopefully it does but if it doesn't i mean the way i've been you know eating and and then just talking whatever you know i don't really it's not really that big a deal for me but yeah hopefully it comes back that's that's definitely the best scenario but you know what are you gonna do and uh on my face i notice when i'm drinking water uh sometimes if i hold if i hold in the water in my mouth and i i don't pay attention to me having water in my mouth i'll have a little stream running in the corner of my lip down here so that's another thing to note and I'm not sure how long I'm going to have braces, but at my next appointment, which is going to be like three weeks from now, I'm going to ask my orthodontist to see what the long term is like for this whole process. Uh, the surgeon told me initially, you know, six months of braces or something like that. But obviously, you know, now that now that I have all my braces in and it's all good to go, you know, the orthodontist ultimately knows, you know, you know, a time frame. So. I'm gonna ask him at the next appointment and see the long term of what I'm looking at. And I actually got the bottom down here, the brackets and the the wire. I got that put in like a few days ago. So my teeth and my gums down here are really tender and they, they hurt a lot. And obviously, cause I just got them in. So it's gonna take like a week or two before the pain subsides. And uh, right now it's not as bad as the first day. Uh, it's funny because initially, initially when he put him in and, you know, he finished off, cut him with the pliers and all that, it wasn't hurting. But, you know, an hour went by, two hours went by, three hours went by, and it just kept hurting more and more. But because of all that pressure. And now I feel like, you know, it still hurts, but it's a lot more manageable now. And obviously, uh, if it becomes, you know, a problem which I don't think so, because I think, you know, the pain is starting to go down. I think it's reached its, its peak. Uh, you can always do, like, the pain relievers, like Tylenol or Advil or something like that. Something that says, you know, for toothaches on the side of the bottle or something like that. All right, so I don't want to take too long in this video, but I am going to finish off with showing you what I've been taking and, like, supplements or whatever, and also just a side profile and a smile and all that good stuff so i'm gonna start off here with this one right here calcium i've been taking this calcium supplement thing let me put it up to the camera properly and i believe this is best paired with uh k2 or which one is it it says uh take with k2 to d3 for best results if you can read that I'm not sure if you'll be able to read that. And that's along with just regular multivitamin gummies. I've been taking these every day for like the past month or two. And I'm taking them just to take them. And I feel like it's also helping me out with, you know, the recovery process. And I feel like it's actually helped a lot. And also because I feel like I don't get enough of my vitamins daily. So, obviously this is very handy and yeah those are really the two things i've been taking and actually i haven't really taken this in a couple weeks so i don't know maybe i'll go back on it but you know so as of right now i'm just doing the multivitamins every day this is this is all i'm taking right now because i don't really feel like i need anything else all right so i guess let's go with the side profile right here so There's one side. There's the other side. And so now just regular and with a smile. And I just wanted to tell, and I just wanted to share with you guys where I'm at right now. So that pretty much makes up this video. And I will see you guys in the next video.
So I'll probably make another one of these after after my next orthodontist appointment, which is like I said, uh, three weeks from now or a month from now. So after that, I'm gonna make another one. And yeah, basically I'm gonna stay true to what I said before about just making like a month monthly update video or obviously if I don't, you know, if there's like three, four months where you know, I don't have any work done on me. There's no need to make a video, but uh, that's the goal right now. Just, you know, monthly and yeah. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys.